Hi folks, Mr Simons here and today's lesson is all about vibrato, a vibrato masterclass for you. So the first thing, you don't even need your violin and you can practice these exercises, sat watching Friends, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, whatever you're watching, you can sit there and practice these exercises. Vibrato is all about making sure your fingers are nice and loose and supple. So what we need to do is making sure there's no tension in any of your fingers. So on your left hand, all you're going to do, take each finger in turn and just very, very gently, just move your fingers in all of the joints, particularly this first joint here. Just moving your fingers really gently and just get them all nice and loose and working properly. And you just do that on each of your fingers. I'd probably spend about a minute on each finger. Just moving it nice and loose. Same for this one. You can see all of the joints working and moving in the finger right the way to the knuckle. That's really important. And then this finger, really gently moving it. No harsh actions at all. And your thumb. You can do that when it's sort of a circular motion going round. As I say, 30 seconds to a minute perhaps on each finger, just getting them nice and loose. So that's exercise number one that you can do. So the second exercise I'd like you to have a go at is uh, using your hand as the violin and you're going to practice doing vibrato. So really gently you're going to put your left thumb in the centre of your hand there and then put your second finger on the, the, the back. And you're just going to move your finger up and down, just practicing vibrato. And the idea is this joint here is going to allow the finger to move there, okay? And we're just practicing that. And you can go slowly and do big motions, and you can go quickly, but you're just allowing the joint to move there. But there's no pressure with any of the fingers at all, it's really gentle. And you can do the same with the third finger. Now I'm afraid, girls in particular, um, if you've got long nails, you're not going to be able to do this because it will really hurt. So I'm, a, I'm afraid if you're a violinist, you shouldn't have long nails anyway. Um, but I suggest you do cut them before you attempt this, otherwise you're going to really hurt yourself. Okay? And then you can do your little finger. Again, between a minute, sorry, 30 seconds and a minute, just practice these um, little exercises. You can see my little finger is not quite as good as my others. It is the weakest, weakest of my fingers. And then the first finger. There we are. So that's the first two exercises that you can practice without your violin. So the third exercise, you're just going to need your violin with no shoulder rest, okay? And we're gonna hold our violin with the right hand, just on the body of the violin there, and you're gonna lift that up to your chin, make sure that your shoulder is not hunching up like that, keep it nice and loose, so there's a big gap there, okay? And what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your thumb on and your second finger, just like that, and you're gonna move up and down from first to third position like this, okay? Just nice and loose really quickly i'm not pushing i don't know if you can see but i'm not pushing the string down i'm just gliding my finger up and down it so there's no pressure on the string at all okay and i'm moving up and down up and down up and down now i'm going to change to the third finger now the fourth finger And now the first finger. Now we're going to go back to the second finger. And we're going to keep that motion going, but I'm going to allow it to go onto one spot like this, like that. And then I've got my vibrato there. 
So I'm going to do it on the third finger. Keep that motion going, keep it going, keep it going. Allow it to come to rest on one spot there and you can see the bend in that finger. I'll show you this way as well. I'll do the third finger again for you. So I'm going up and down. And allow it to come to one spot and there is the vibrato there. Okay. And then the fourth finger. And this one, this one is an arm vibrato because I'm using my arm to create the wobble. So let it come to rest there. And then my first finger. Now it's come to a rest. There. It's just about loosening up all of the joints and things like that without putting any tension in the shoulder at all. And as I say, it was an arm vibrato because my wrist wasn't moving, it was done from my elbow there. Okay? Nice. So it's exercise number four, finger squirms. You're going to put your uh, thumb in normal position, again, not hunching with your shoulder, and you're going to squirm your finger out and pull it back in. Just like that. And we're stretching and pulling, and this is to release the knuckle here, it's to really push and pull from the knuckle. So you've got to work it quite hard. Again, there's no, no pressure on the string, but I'm really pushing and pulling from the knuckle. Same with the third finger. Try your best not to move your wrist and let that knuckle work. I'll see if I can show you the knuckle shot. And the little finger. I told you it was my weakest, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but it, it, it kind of springs back. Um, and it hasn't got the smooth motion of the other fingers. But with practice, it will get better. And the first finger, there, you can feel that. You can see that one, that one's nice and smooth, that finger. I've got a lot more control over it. So again, between 30 seconds and a minute on each of these finger squirms. Not hunching with the shoulder again. I'll show you this view. Third finger. Just about loosening up all of those joints. First finger. Okay, so we've warmed up all of the fingers and we've warmed up the arm. Next thing we need to warm up is the wrist. So, exercise five. Again, hold your violin by the body, thumb at the top, fingers underneath to support it. No hunching with the shoulder. And you're going to put your wrist here and you're just going to practice moving your wrist down. So the wrist goes just on this bottom ledge here. I'm just resting my wrist on like that and I'm just moving it backwards and forwards just allowing that wrist to work. That's it. Just warm up the wrist and then see if you can go a bit faster. Okay so you can warm up your your wrist, and your arm, and your fingers. Okay, uh, next exercise is just the thumb. We need to warm up the thumb as well. So again, holding your violin by the, the body, violin up, not hunching with the shoulder, put your second finger on, and you're just gonna go round in a circle, and then back round the other way. And then third finger on and do the same. And again, it's working the thumb, try not to move your wrist too much. And back round with the thumb, working it from that base joint. And then the little finger. So again, about 30 seconds on each finger. Back round the other way. And the first finger. Back round the other way. Now, obviously, I've not done 30 seconds to a minute on these. I've got to keep my video quite short for you. But if you can practice those, you'll get all your fingers nice and loose, ready for vibrato, okay? Okay, the last exercise before we put the shoulder rest on, we're gonna move our hand all the way from first position right the way up to the top and down again, okay? And we're gonna do that using vibrato. So again, right hand holding the body, thumb at the top, nice and secure, not hunching with the shoulder. And we're gonna start here. We're gonna get the thumb, first position, second finger, just moving the vibrato now. Again, I'm using my arm, not my wrist. And I'm, what I'm doing, I'm very carefully working my way up the violin. You can see my thumb moving. Now I've got to here, thumb underneath, and work your way up to the top, 
allowing your finger to bend and then come back down again making sure your thumb and finger work together all the way down I'll show you this way as well and then we start with the third finger so we're moving up ever so slowly we're moving the thumb up I'll show you this side up goes the thumb moving our finger thumb underneath as we're going up to the top all the way up with our finger I'll show you this view now there and coming back down again there thumb goes underneath look and back down and then of course the little finger oh there is so much tension in my little finger up we go and back down and the first finger up we go keep that motion going and back down again there we go so it's a great little exercise for putting all of those elements together moving your hand up and down and keeping the vibrato going okay guys the next exercise you're gonna to need to put your shoulder rest on okay now we're gonna find a in third position on the D string here okay and we're going to start with the bow we're going to pull the bow down with no vibrato and then as we go through the note we're just going to develop it and we're going to move our arm all the way not using our wrist just our arm all the way and we're going to develop that sound okay so I'll show you how this works so here's the A you can hear it. as we go through it gets more intense I'm going to show you this view as well so here we go down with the A Just as you get towards the tip, you can really develop that vibrato. And, um, do that uh, perhaps ten times, something like that, and then try your third finger. So again, third position. And then, of course, your little finger. And then your first finger. about 10 on each finger and it just allows the finger to start that vibrato and then it intensify it a little bit. Okay, the next exercise is to develop your wrist vibrato. So we've done quite a lot on using the arm and the fingers, now it's just using that wrist. So, for this we're going to go into first position, uh, second finger on the A string. And again we're going to start with the bow moving down and then we're going to intensify our finger just using our wrist. Wrist vibrato is actually a really fast vibrato, okay? So after a really fast sound when you start doing it. So here we go. You can hear that intensity, it's really, really a fast sort of wobble on the note. I'll try my third finger for you. really hear the difference between the two vibratos. So now you've got a wrist vibrato and you've got an arm vibrato and then you can combine the two so you get different sort of colours within the vibrato range which a lot of conductors don't actually know about. So you can start with a bit of arm and then you can add a little bit of wrist or you can go straight to wrist. So it depends if you want to really intensify your vibrato you go to a more wrist sort of vibrato. If you want a more sort of soft one it's more of an arm and a little bit slower. And then you've got all the colours in between with a mixture of both the wrist and the arm. So now we can put that together in a scale. 
I suggest F sharp major, so you start on the second finger and then work back towards the first finger. So it's up to you, you can either use arm, wrist or a mixture of the two, but again I'm not going to start with vibrato, I'm going to start with that and then develop each note as we go through. Okay, the next one you can do, you can now do a constant vibrato throughout. So we're not going to stop, it's going to keep going throughout each note. And towards the end of the note as well, I would also get a little bit more in uh, with intensity. So perhaps go to a little bit more wrist vibrato, so it really goes through the entire note. So again, I'm going to use F sharp major. So even before I put my bow on the string, I'm going to get my vibrato going with the first note. Vibrato stop, keep it going, join it to the next note. And you can hear just towards the end of the note, I was trying to intensify it a little bit by using a little bit of the wrist vibrato, but right the way through to the end of the note and join it on to the next one, okay? So the last exercise I'd like you to do is to improvise a tune in third position, combining your vibrato that you've learnt and also your smooth bow changes that we talked about in the last video. Again, it's up to you, you can use wrist, arm, a mixture of both, it's entirely up to you but it's about making a really beautiful sound. So really listen to your sound and think, how can I make that even more beautiful? Can I go faster? Can I go slower with my vibrato? And really try and make a really gorgeous sound. So I give a little uh, preview of my made up improvised tune. So just something like that, that you can improvise around and making that beautiful sound. Now you can employ all of those exercises and all of that vibrato that you've learnt today into one of your pieces and see if you can make it even more beautiful. Hope you enjoyed the masterclass. Please email me, Facebook me and let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Alright, take care guys. See you soon. Bye.